नहीं ट्रैक एंड अगले चाहते थे कि थोड़ा सा रॉक का मिक्सचर हो एंड सम लाइक फोक म्यूजिक एंड सम हिमाचली म्यूजिक सो इट्स गॉट अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट वर्क वेल विद द फिल्म या आई मीन देयर इज आई थिंक देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ फोक इन्फ्लुएंस एंड वी ट्राई टू लुक एट सम ऑफ द हिमाचली स्टफ लुकिंग एट वेयर द फिल्म इज शॉट एंड या आई मीन we try to make it as indie and folky keeping in with the theme of the film yeah. and as a big 60s vibe like 60s hippie counter culture vibe you know thing yeah yeah and i think we did a good job kya aisa koi gana jo aap gana chahenge gana chahenge mostly mostly instrumental chang ching what should you guys do uh i think we listen to everything anything and everything we yeah. listen to a lot of uh, metal and indie music and future electronic music future bass future bass, future bass. Yeah. Future bass. i like hip hop music uh, rap yeah. music i'm kind of like a slut in the middle i listen to everything so yeah maybe there's something um shobha ji we are lucky enough to be working with her she is an amazing woman and she agreed to do the song and this and she doesn't usually do film music as such she hasn't shot for a film in a long time and thankfully i don't know thank, thank whoever it is yeah. she did she did some amazing stuff yeah she did so much and so and she did i think uh, this song in maybe 2 hours or something like, not even 2 hours like man hour. she came and she just did one thing and i think when we were writing the song we felt it has to be her and yeah. her only like there was nobody else who could sing it and she came on one hour we had like five or six pieces we could choose from yeah and she and we are really lucky to be working with a woman like that she is amazing oh <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding me yeah yeah डायरेक्शन <laughs> if we leave, leave like leaving us to our devices we might have gotten slightly here by but i think it was great yeah we did a good job yeah and we, we, we had to focus the whole thing and yeah we did a great job i think yeah can you sing one line love seasons are singers bro. yeah yeah sure you are the singer bro do it yeah okay yeah yeah sing which song let's which which one do you want to sing whichever one ऊपर इन दैट डू इट डू ना 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 डू इट सॉरी यार द सुनी ना आई डोंट थिंक वी कैन सिंग ऑन आई थिंक या वी आर लिटिल आई एम स्टूडेंट एंड वेरी या वन लाइन वो पर इन वो पर इन द बस चाहे ये धुआं सॉरी थैंक यू सॉरी अरे आप बोल सर सर actually a story about the new generation in india today and uh, we're very excited to be releasing the film in india on the 22nd of july uh, the film has a wonderful and a very fresh cast and um, we had a wonderful time shooting it it's a road movie um, 
It's also India's first Stoner movie, so that's very exciting. Haan, to, um, basically, Himachal mein gaav hai. There's a village called uh, Malana, uh, and M cream is a very famous um, and a very notorious drug from that village, uh, which is very popular with the young people and the youth of, um, of India today. Uh, and so the story is about these four friends who go on this road trip uh, in search of M cream. No, no, I'm actually, I'm the director of the film, writer and director. And, ha, huh, the cast? Ha, very true, true. So this film, there are some new actors, like Maatshah, Ira Dubey, theater actors and film actors, and some low-free actors, like Tom Alter, Barry John, Barry John, who is Shah Rukh Khan's guru, and a very famous theater and acting coach. And Lushan Dubey is also a theater actress and a thespian. And it's a very fresh cast, very dynamic cast. Basically, Imad, and Ira Dubey are the two uh, leads along with uh, Aurithar Ghosh and uh, Raghav Chanana. No, so this is actually a special screening for cast and uh, crew and their friends and family. So of course, uh, we're very excited to have very some very distinguished actors and people from the industry here today. Um, so yeah, a bit excited, a bit nervous. Uh, they can get... Huh. Huh. No, like the mother-father, uh, uh, of course, uh, Nasiruddin Shah, Ratna Pathak Shah expected, then... Uh, okay, location location? Okay, okay. So uh, basically, the uh, first schedule we had in Delhi, and after that, we had in Himachal Pradesh, mein Parvati Valley, uh, which is infamous for its hash growing and, uh, its, and, the, and the lifestyle there, of course. So uh, in Himachal, we had in Kullu Manali, mein shoot kiya. Um, Dharamshala mein shoot kiya, pure Himachal mein actually, aur aise aise itne beautiful locations hai. Um, mein kisi se keh raha tha ke um, uh, Bollywood ke itne producers or uh, directors hai jo uh, Videsh, uh, I mean their first choice is actually to shoot abroad. Jaisi Switzerland mein shoot karte, Australia mein shoot karte. But actually India mein itne beautiful locations hai, uh, which have never been captured. Aur humare film mein I think for the first time we've captured some of the most beautiful places. Uh, jab aap film dekhenge, aapko yakeen hai hoga ke this is actually India. I mean, it's so beautiful and it's so, uh, it's, it's just amazing. Right, 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 right. Do you think you're lucky enough? No, we're lucky also. Actually, it's a bit interesting because um, this film has actually gone to many film festivals. So, this was the premiere premiere in Rhode Island. जहाँ पे इसे सर्वश्रेष्ठ चलचित्र, basically the best feature film award का पुरस्कार प्राप्त हुआ, so we were very fortunate and ये फिल्म काफी इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल्स में बहुत सराही गई है और बहुत ही acclaimed और appreciated है। We have won ten awards. The film has been screened across US, in New York, in California, in Colorado, और यूरोप में भी in many locations and places such as in the UK, Ireland, France, Germany, Spain. And for the first time, the film will be coming to India. So we're very excited about that. And for censorship, we actually had a censored version in 2014, when Leela Sampson was the censor chief. So we were a bit, um, we were actually, uh, we had a longer cut, uh, which we wanted to release in India. Uh, but because of the Urta Punjab controversy, and many other films that have unfortunately, um, and I think for very ridiculous reasons, been stuck in the censors, we have decided to release the international version um, because we actually didn't want any controversy and we didn't want to take the risk. So, the version of our censor hua tha, woi version, international version release hogi uh, for the Indian audience. <laughs> हाँ देखिए ये basically इस फिल्म में हमने आज के युवाओं में जो वो बदलाव की मानसिकता है और चाह है basically पूरे इंडिया में एक नया जेनरेशन है और चार विद्यार्थियों के माध्यम से हमने ये बदलाव की मानसिकता को समझने का एक छोटा सा प्रयास किया है so basically I think it's a very relatable film ये urban youth के लिए फिल्म है but I think it's a film that will resonate with all the young people of India और I mean even in the film festivals, it's an amazing response we have, and uh, all the youth who have seen it have really, uh, I mean, it's really connected with that.
So risky film hai, bold film hai, radical film hai. But um, I think um, this is um, this is a film that can really um, really redefine Indian cinema. Hopefully. Haan, actually, uh, this is a slightly controversial baat hai, uh, slightly controversial baat hai, but. Uh, Basically, uh, in this film, we have drugs and drugs ka culture ko explore kiya hai. So, uh, uh, rehearsals mein, uh, I, we were actually in Barry John's uh, studio rehearsing, and one of the actors had requested uh, LSD, which is one of the drugs. You can see in film, there is a sequence of acid trip ki sequence. Hai. Uh, to one of the actors had uh, requested it uh, just to actually get into the, the frame and the, yeah, the character. But uh, I think it was a bit too much, so I mean, uh, I think, uh, I, I mean, we figured a way around it, but uh, I mean, hats off to the actors, because I think uh, if you look at this film, the sex scenes and the, the drugs and everything, it's a very radical film, but I think it's not a sensationalist film. Just in Bollywood, there is a lot of sensationalism, be, be here, unfortunately, and the story takes a back seat. In our case, the story is very much at the front and the center of the film. Absolutely. Just uh, to that in today's time, I think that the Bollywood or independent film, I think the distinction between those two uh, is blurring. Um, I think that Bollywood may be very, I think, uh, radical, brave, or challenging films And um, yeah, I think these lines between independent, I think the lines between independent and Bollywood are blurring. So um, I'm actually uh, very excited about working in Bollywood and. Uh, I think in the future, uh, th I think Indian cinema is one of the most exciting cinemas today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, so I think uh, I mean the casting was great because um, I think Imad is anyway an actor who has. Um, I mean, he's a history of taking very unconventional roles. Uh, he's, um, he's a very brave actor, and he also belongs to a rich tra tradition. Both his parents are very fine actors. And um, yeah, so I think that um, this is a culture they're all familiar with. Because if you look at the youth of India today, um, everyone is actually experimenting with drugs like marijuana. And uh, I mean, a lot of people are saying that uh, this film is pro-drugs. I just want to confirm it's not a pro-drugs film. It's not an anti-drugs film. But it's a neutral stand because uh, in our film actually we have explored uh, marijuana and cannabis. Just say some other films have taken harder drugs, uh, which are negative. But um, in our in our film we actually um, are looking at marijuana, which is actually uh, not even a drug; it's a herb. And uh, so from that point of view, I think that we do hope it will open a debate and a discussion on this. Yeah. Thank you. Guys, <laughs> 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 <laughs>